This is going to be a series of individual videos on testing of many do-it-yourself alcohol stoves that I built out of small clear lid, clear lid containers. Cost anywhere from a dollar to two dollars each. I built a couple stainless steels around seven dollars each. This introduction part of the video will be included at the beginning of each stove video burn test. So skip ahead a little bit if you have already watched this portion of the video and want to get right to the burn testing. Each stove and video will be numbered and tested. Go to video number one if you want a basic description of the many stoves. I'll try to put all the specs in the description box of the video. Uh, what I'm going to test is the warm up time, boil time, burnout time, water temperature, and surrounding air temperature. I'll also include the alcohol capacity of each stove, the size of the stove, and the various materials used such as tin, aluminum, stainless steel. There will be a jet type, a wick type using carbon felt right here. Uh, and that will be to compare the different designs and materials. Each test will be done with the same aluminum pot. It has a 5 inch diameter bottom. I bought it at Walmart for a couple bucks. Um, well, I'll be using tap water. It's around 60 degrees plus or minus 5 degrees Two cups of water and there will be a couple tests that I'll use four and six cups of water Surrounding air temperature is in my garage. It's winter time in Iowa, but my garage is around 40 degrees So it's a little cool uh, My water temperature thermometer is about Five degrees low so keep that in mind and all the specs that I'm doing here is is not exact it'll be approximately I have some extra materials to build other stoves so if you have any suggestions or want me to try something different please let me know and I'll do it let's get started with the testing all right let's do test do it yourself. Alcohol stove number seven. This is, uh, you can buy these at, here's the stove. It's a jet type stove. You can buy these at uh, Kitchen Collection. It's a outlet, kitchen outlet store for $1.50 a piece. They have a magnet on the bottom, which is nice because you can kind of hook them to your toolbox. Uh, this one's built with these are about 5 64 inch holes, half inch apart. It's made out of tin. It has an aluminum inside. Of course, you need the slits on the bottom. It has to be the right height so it sits tight to this lid. But you have to make it the right height. We're about three quarters of an inch from the holes to the top of the lid when you put it down. Let's start this test. Here's the aluminum. This is you can get this at the dollar store. It's a moose can. Take a magnet with you into the dollar store. Because you want aluminum. Tin don't work too well inside these tin. Cans, but these are spice cans. You can get them at Bed Bath Beyond also. They cost three dollars at Bed Bath Beyond, but a lot of times you can use a coupon and get them a little cheaper. Otherwise, at the kitchen collection, they're only a dollar fifty. Okay, let's get this started and I'll talk more about it. Okay, let's light this up. Got her going, start. These might take a couple minutes to warm up. Uh, the, again, these are called Kamenstein spice containers. 
and this one has an aluminum moose can from the dollar store so most of these stoves you can build from anywhere from a dot two dollars to three dollars buck fifty to three dollars we'll let this warm up I built these these are good for boiling more water I can boil up to six water with these because it's like you can put more alcohol in but I'm doing this test with three quarter ounce I'll do a test with more denatured alcohol you can put up to 1.5 ounces I think into these and you could boil six cups of water it's already the jets are blooming at 53 seconds wow that was quicker than I thought 53 seconds the jets are blooming uh, we'll let it warm up a little more before we put that pot on let the jets get going really well if you put the pot on too early sometimes it won't it'll go out if you get too tight of a seal from the bottom of the pot to the top of the stove sometimes it the jets will go out let's put it on hopefully that gets going two cups of water air temperatures right about 40 degrees right now it's tap water so it was about 60 degrees you can see how the jets died down when I put that pot on top What you can do is lift up one side of the pot to get that air flowing. On some of my other stoves I cut slots on the top of the stove so it gets a little more air flowage. Once that warms up then you can set the pot back down. It's going pretty good now. We'll come back in five minutes. We're about 84 degree water temperature. All right, we're about at five minutes and the water temperature's 138. We need to get to 205 for boil. You can see it's kind of jetting out a little bit there. Puffs the uh, pressure. Has a little bit of a yellow tip to the flame. Again, I built these more for boiling more water. I can boil six cups of water with that. I'll do a test. We'll call it 7.5. I'll boil six cups of water with one and a half ounces of uh, denatured alcohol. Here's what these look like. They're made for holding spice and they have a little magnet so you can stick them to your toolbox but they come with a clear lid same as all the others the lid just pops right out and then you cut your aluminum can to the right height so it seals around here make sure if you turn the lid you get you got to make sure you turn it so there's so it's closed there's also some four holes on the lid there so shaking out your spice I guess all right we're at 165 water temperature we'll come back when the water starts to make a noise we're at seven minutes about 30 seconds and the water starting to hiss we're at 190 degrees almost Again, you burn up a little bit of time with the jet stoves because you have to let them warm up. So you're wasting a little bit of alcohol just for the warm up process compared to the wick type alcohol stoves. We're about eight minutes, 196. really sounding like it wants to boil again these stoves work better with uh, for boiling more water 
201. Should be about ready to boil. That's pretty close. Yeah. 205 and we got boiling. 830. 8 minutes 30 seconds. See what see when it goes out. The jets are about one inch from the bottom of that pot. The bottom of the pot's five inch diameter. It's just a Walmart grease strainer pot. I think they cost a couple bucks. 9 minutes This is a real nice strong boil The stove burns a little hotter than some of the others So it'll burn out pretty quick It's already going down at about 10 minutes, we'll call it. Still barely going, we'll call it about eight minutes, 50, or nine minutes, 50 seconds. So as you can tell, these bit larger stoves use a little more alcohol. But it can get two cups of water to a boil. Thanks for watching, everyone.